What's good people, it's Ocean here. Welcome to the channel, welcome to the video. I hope you're having a great day wherever you're watching from. Just another day out here, another beat gonna be made, another football shirt, all my stripes in the wash, so we gotta switch it up today. Let's get to the studio. I swear my studio is like always a mess. I'm one of those people that like to work in like a nice, tidy work area. But it doesn't matter how many times I clean this up, I literally cleaned up the studio this morning, it always becomes messy. There's always cables about, boxes all over the place. I can't help it, I'm just untidy when it comes to the studio. I was messing around on the guitar this morning, so I think I'm gonna try and make a guitar trap beat from scratch, completely from scratch. I've never done this before, usually I click in like the foundation of the guitar using a VST and then I add to it. But I think I'm gonna try and do the melody completely on the guitar and hopefully it will turn out as a vibe as usual. Sit back, enjoy, let's get into the video. Ocean Gang or Drown. Boom. I think I'm going to record each of those guitar sections in piece by piece because my hand, I'm not fast enough at playing the guitar to like move from section to section like that. I just kind of got to do what works for me. I'm not really that good at playing the guitar. Control that one, put that over there. I'm gonna control everything, join it up. And then some parts are just slightly off time. So I'm gonna double click, turn on flex, and then I switch that to rhythmic. I'm just gonna move some of the places to be more in time. Right, I think that sounds good. Everything's more or less in time. Let's open up a bus and I'm going to add in some guitar rig. I'm just going to do the same thing as well, join it up and turn on the flex so I can put it in time. That sounds good. Those are gonna be my main guitars, but I wanna add like a flute or a whistle or something to go with this as well. Let me open up Omnisphere. It's been a long time since I used Omnisphere.
Gives me like a titanic kind of vibe. Alright, I think I like that for the melody. Let me leave that like that. I'm gonna bounce this out, add some drums on top of it, turn it into a full beat. I think the timing might be slightly off here as well. So again, I'm just gonna go to flex, turn it on, turn on the rhythmic part and try and fix that up. simple like that, quantize that and then spread that over. Repeat that, just join it up. And then I'm thinking as well, towards the end we could do like a reverse 808. Gonna select it, hit reverse. Mm. Something like that. simple like that, just to go underneath the 808.
perfect. All right, so let's rearrange this out into a proper beat. For the intro, we have those guitars. And then let's get rid of like most of these drums. And then for the 808 here, I'm just gonna fade it in and out slightly. So it just has a bit more of a smoother transition. We'll have everything there. Here we get rid of the kick. In fact, I'm gonna get rid of that reverse 808 there so we don't have it all the time. And then after that section, let's drag over the kick. And then after that section, we're going to the break. And then it will just repeat from the beginning. And that's it for the beat right there, nice and simple. Just cooked up a guitar track beat completely from scratch, all on the guitar. And trust me, I'm telling you, I'm not the best guitar player. I kind of just have to figure it out and do what works for me. Slowly but surely though, I'll start to eventually pick it up and Hopefully one day start shredding and doing all the madness on it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please, please, please give this video a thumbs up. Hit the like button right now. If you haven't done so already, subscribe as well to the channel because the road to 300,000 continues. That's about it for this one. I'll see you in the future.